The romantic love triangle. Sonia and Pierre are both highly successful actresses in Hollywood, but their paths has never crossed until they were cast in the same movie as co-stars. From the moment they met, the two women were drawn to each other's strong personalities and shared love of acting. But as they worked together on the set, they soon discovered that they had another thing in common, a mutual attraction to their handsome co-star, Morris. Morris is a charming, talented actor, and he was quickly drawn to both Sonia and Pierre in different ways. Sonia is a more reserved and traditional woman, while Pierre is more of a free spirit who loved to flex and have fun. As the filming progressed, the tension between the three of them grew, and each of the women vowed for Maurice's attention and affection. While Maurice and Sonia acted out their romantic scenes together, they found themselves becoming more and more drawn to each other. Maurice was impressed by Sonia's professionalism and dedication to her crafts, and he admired her genuine warmth and kindness. Sonia, in turn, was charmed by Maurice's charisma and talent. She tried to keep her feelings for him under control, but as they spent more and more time together, she found herself falling for him. Meanwhile, Pierre was growing increasingly jealous of the connection between Sonia and Morris. She tried to play it off as nothing more than a friendly rival. But deep down, she felt threatened by Sonia's presence. One night, after a particularly intense filming session, Morris invited both Sonia and Pierre to join him for drinks at a local bar. Pierre was eager to go, but Morris was hesitant. She wasn't sure if she was ready to face her feelings for Morris head on. They eventually went out for a drink, and after a few drinks, the tension between the three of them only seemed to grow. Pierre was already high and flexing heavily with Morris while Sonia tried to remain professional and keep her distance. Maurice, for his part, was torn between the two women. She found himself attracted to both of them, but he wasn't sure which one to pursue. As the night went on, the alcohol began to loosen everyone's inhibitions. Pierre leaned closer to Maurice, her eyes locked on his, you know, I have always been a bit of a bad girl, she poured. Maybe you should come back to my place and see just how bad I can be. Maurice hesitated, glancing over at Sonia. He knew that Sonia was the more respectable choice, but he couldn't deny the pull of Pierre's seductive charm. Maurice knew that he couldn't keep stringing both Sonia and Pierre along forever. He needed to make a choice but it was proven to be harder than he thought. <clears throat> On the other hand, Sonia seemed the perfect wife material. She is intelligent, kind-hearted, and incredibly talented. Morris knew that she would make a great partner in every sense of the world. But then there was Pierre. She was wild, unpredictable, and exciting. Maurice found himself drawn to her in ways that he couldn't quite explain. As the days went by, Maurice found himself torn between the two women. He knew that he needed to make a decision soon, but he was afraid of hurting either one of them. Sonia was beginning to suspect that Maurice was interested in Pierre, but she didn't want to admit it to herself. She knew that Maurice was a free-spirited person and that she couldn't control his feelings. But it still hurt to think that he might be choosing someone else over her. Pierre, on the other hand, was growing more and more confident in her relationship with Maurice. She was convinced that he would eventually choose her over Sonia. 
and she was determined to make that happen. As the tension between the three of them continued to mount, Morris knew that he needed to make a decision. He couldn't continue to lead both women on, and he knew that he needed to be honest with both of them. As word of Morris' indecision spread, it became clear that most people were on Sonia's side. Many of their colleagues and friends believed that she was the better match for Morris and that they were rooting for her to win his heart. Sonia, for her part, tried to push off the attention and focus on her work, but deep down, she was touched by the support she received. She knew that if she ended up with Morris, she would have the backing of their friends and colleagues. Pierre, however, was not so well liked to be a match for Morris. Many people viewed her as the scheming woman who was trying to steal Morris away from Sonia. She didn't care what others thought of her, though she was determined to win Morris' heart, no matter what it takes. Morris couldn't continue to string both Sonia and Pierre along. He knew that his decision was causing both women pain. So, one day, he finally worked up the courage to approach Sonia. Can we talk? He asked her tentatively. Sonia nodded, her heart racing. She knew that this moment had been coming for a while, and she wasn't sure she was ready for it. Morris took a deep breath and began to speak. I want you to know how much I admire you, he said. You are an incredible woman, and I have enjoyed working with you. But I need to be honest with you. I have been struggling with my feelings. Sonia felt her heart sank as Morris spoke. She had been hoping that he would finally choose her, but it seemed that he was still undecided. I'm sorry, Morris continued. I just need some time to figure things out. I don't want to hurt you but I'm not ready to commit to anyone right now. Sonia nodded, trying to hide her disappointment. I understand, she said quietly. Morris reached out and touched her arm. I hope we can still be friends, he said. Sonia gave him a small smile. Of course we can, she said. I just need some time to process everything. As the days went by, Morris tried to distract himself by dating other women and burying his emotions. But no matter how hard he tried, he couldn't get Sonia out of his mind. Morris tried to convince himself that he was doing the right thing by not choosing either Sonia or Pierre. But as time went on, he realized that he was only prolonging the inevitable. Things of the heart, obviously, can't be fought. Finally, he decided that he needed to talk to Pierre. He knew that she would be upset if he chose Sonia over her, but he couldn't keep avoiding the issue forever. When he finally worked up the courage to talk to Pierre, he was surprised by her reaction. I know you have been struggling with your feelings, she said, and I understand why, but I think you need to be honest with yourself. You know which one of us you want to be with. Morris was taken aback by Pierre's honesty. He hadn't expected her to be so understanding. After their conversation, Morris decided to take Pierre up on her suggestion. Pierre had requested for a vacation with him and he knew actually that a vacation might help him clear his head and figure out what he really wanted. So he and Pierre planned a trip together, a romantic getaway to a beautiful beach town. They spent their days lounging by the pool, exploring the local markets, dining at fancy restaurants, swimming and having great fun. As the days passed, Morris found himself relaxing and enjoying Pierre's company. He couldn't help but feel guilty for keeping Sonia in the dark about his vacation with Pierre. But he pushed the thought aside and tried to focus on the present. But one day, as they were walking along the beach, buried in deep discussions, Morris' phone boosted with a message. 
He frowned as he read the text from Sonia. I heard about your vacation with Pearl, she wrote. I'm disappointed that you didn't tell me about it. I thought we were friends. As the vacation drew to a close, Morris found himself conflicted. He couldn't get past Sonia's message. Did she care this much? How did she know about the vacation? So many thoughts are running in his mind. On the other hand, he had enjoyed spending time with Pio and felt a deep connection to her. But on the other hand, he couldn't shake the feelings that he was betraying Sonia by keeping the vacation a secret. As they packed their bags and prepared to return home, Morris knew that he would have to face the music sooner or later. He couldn't keep avoiding the situation forever, and he knew he would eventually have to choose between Sonia and Pierre. But for now, he was content to enjoy the last few days of their vacation, savoring every moment before the reality of his dharma set in. As the vacation came to an end, Maurice and Pierre were both left feeling conflicted. They had enjoyed their time together, but they knew that the situation back home was still unresolved. When Maurice returned to work, he could feel the tension between him and Sonia. She was clearly still upset about his vacation with Pierre, and she was avoiding him whenever they meet. Morris knew that he needed to talk to Sonia, but he wasn't sure how to approach her. He didn't want to make things worse by bringing up the vacation again, but he knew he couldn't avoid the issue forever. Morris tries to approach Sonia and talk to him about what happened, but she's still upset and isn't ready to forgive him yet. Morris is starting to feel guilty for hurting her and wonders if he made the right decision by going on vacation with Pierre. The tension between the three of them continues to grow and Maurice is starting to realize that he has to make a choice between the two women or risk losing both of them. As Maurice realizes the depth of his feelings for Sonia and how much Sonia was hurt learning of his vacation with Pierre, he decides to focus on winning her over and repairing her relationship. He reaches out to her with a heartfelt apology and asks if he did like to grab a coffee and catch up. Sonia is initially hesitant, but she eventually agrees to meet up with Morris. As they sat down to chat, they began to reminisce about their time working together on the movie set and they start to re reconnect on a deeper level. They find themselves laughing and joking like old friends and it becomes clearer that there is a genuine connection between them. As they continue to spend time together, Maurice and Sonia grew closer and their bond becomes stronger. They start to confide in each other and share hopes and dreams. And they find themselves looking forward to every moment that they spend together. Absolutely, the more Maurice spends time with Sonia, the more he realizes how much he cares for her. He begins to see her in a new light, not just as a talented actress and a friend, but he is also a potential partner. As they grow closer, Maurice found himself wanting to spend every waking moment with Sonia. He invites her to a dinner, to the movies, and to various events around the town. And Sonia, though initially cautious, slowly begins to let her guard down and opens up to Morris. Morris can't help but feel a sense of excitement at the prospect of a relationship with Sonia. He knows that it won't be easy, given the tension with Pierre and the challenges of their busy schedules, but he is determined to make it work. He's never felt this way about anyone before and he's not going to let it go this time around. As Maurice and Sonia's relationship continue to blossom, they begin to confide in each other more deeply. Sonia shares with Maurice about her struggles with being in the spotlight and the pressures of her career, while Maurice opens up about his own insecurities and fear. They became each other's confidence and their bond grows stronger and stronger with each passing day. 
as they continued to explore their feelings to each other, Maurice began to feel like he's on top of the world. He finally found someone who understands and accepts him for who he is, and he's more willing to do the same for Sonia. He's ready to take the next step in their relationship, but he knows that it won't be without its challenges. As Sonia and Maurice continue to grow stronger, Maurice starts to think about taking things to the next level. He starts dropping hints to Sonia about wanting to take their relationship to the next level. But Sonia, while flattered, is still hesitant to fully commit. She has been hurt in the past and is wary of getting too close too quickly. While Maurice is eager to move forward, Sonia's reluctance causes him to take a step back and reassesses his approach. He doesn't want to push her too hard or make her feel pressured. So he takes a more patient and understanding approach. He continues to spend time with him, but he is more careful to respect her boundaries and not push too hard for a commitment. Meanwhile, Sonia finds herself drawn to Maurice more and more. She enjoys his company and their time together, but she is still hesitant to fully open up to him after all Pierre is still in the picture. She knows that she cares for her, but she is not sure if she's ready to take the next step yet. As they navigate this delicate balance, Maurice and Sonia found themselves in uncharted territory. They are both scared of getting hurt, but at the same time, they can't deny the strong connection they feel between them. It's a tension that builds with each passing day, and neither one is sure where it will lead. Hmm. The love triangle indeed. This is both Maurice at the center and the two ladies, Sonia and Piel, by his side. Watch out for the next episode and let's see where this is going to take him. Who is he going to choose? This is quite entertaining. Stay puts and don't go away.